What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cornelia, back for another episode of Black News, a podcast where we break down current events, hot topics, and local stories involving Black people. Now let's get into it. First things first, y'all already know what I'm going to say. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much for supporting y'all. Thank y'all for supporting the podcast, sticking to the assignment, spreading the word, sharing this and listening on all apps for podcasts. Can be heard. Appreciate y'all so much. Please continue to do so. And I will continue to give y'all the podcast and share with y'all the black news as I see fit and as we all see fit. So thanks again so much thank you thank you thank you much love much love much love all right let's get into it first i want to show some love and give flowers to quinta brunson for her just it's just a dope all-around show on abc called abbott elementary now y'all probably have heard about it have watched i feel like at this point everybody has tuned in or at least know about abbott elementary if not watch the show Quinta, um, executive produced it, wrote, I uh, believe, the pilot, and she's a writer on the show overall, acts in it, along with the legendary Cheryl Lee Ralph, okay? The the original dream girl, okay? Don't disrespect Cheryl Lee Ralph. Uh, Janelle James, old boy from Everybody Hates Chris. I don't know his name. He's just going to be one of them dudes that we be calling Everybody Hates Chris, Um uh lisa um i forget her last name she's a comic i don't know why i'm blanking on her name but the fantastic cast just all around good show but i'm bringing this up today because shouting out uh quinta and the team over at abbott elementary because they've been doing a lot to highlight teachers especially because the show is about teachers in the philadelphia area so in this particular um topic or this discussion she used part of the Abbott Elementary budget for teachers and and donated to them. So first of all, or second of all, because now we own multiple topics, the show got renewed for season two. Woohoo. Hey. And I said this before, y'all. It's hard as hell getting a show made. We watch a lot of content and we watch TV. And if you at home and not necessarily in the business of entertainment, you kind of figure it's it's hard, but y'all don't know. It's hard getting a show made especially on network tv it's damn it's hard so many people gotta say yes so many entities and people have to say yes so the fact that it got renewed for season two kudos and it would have been dumb as hell for not doing that anyway but the point is quince did a uh, interview with the fresh air podcast on npr where she mentioned that the production team and the the heads over at ABC um, agreed to allocate part of the marketing the show's marketing budget um, to help actual teachers. She said, um, "Quinta, we chose to put the marketing money towards supplies for teachers. It's about being able to make those kinds of decisions that really excite me, things that really materially help people, and that's real." Because one thing you want to do, yes, you want to be creative, you want to get your stuff done, you want to help people. But you really want to make sure that you are doing good work for people and it's actually touching the people. That's what it's about. Yes, it's about creating art. Yes, it's about, um, you know, people watching at home and having something they can relate to, seeing ourselves represented on television, because that's important. But it's also about giving back, doing good, making an impact, impact in other ways. So I'm glad this is happening. I also think I saw some interviews where there was like money on some, a couple talk shows, maybe Ellen, maybe not, maybe another one. And I'm only saying Ellen because y'all know Ellen always giving away some cash from Shutterfly. Okay. But I feel like some other money was given to teachers on behalf of the Abbott Elementary crew and cast. So I I hope it continues. I'm, I'm sure it will. Because it's just dope to be able to associate a need that is related to your content and then to focus that effort on that for good. 
Oh, I love that. I just love it. And also, just again, shout out to uh, her for being a young black, now executive showrunner, creator in Hollywood, because that shit hard, hard. Okay. So yeah, wh- let me know if y'all watching. And if y'all not watching this show, check it out. Come on on ABC on Tuesdays. You can watch it on Hulu. If y'all got cable, just DVR the bad boy. Put it on the DVR and then watch it. Every view helps. Um, let me know if you guys watching, what y'all think about it? Who y'all favorite character? It's a lot of good people on there. So who y'all be checking for when y'all watch Adam Abbott and the Mystery? And what other shows do y'all feel like are just as good or funny? Maybe some slept on. Grand Crew on NBC is really funny. It's a cast of black people on there. It's it's really funny. Um, Nicole Byer, Carl Tart is on there. Um, what else is good? Atlanta is coming back. It's just a bunch of, it's just, just a good time for TV right now. So uh, hit me up. Let me know what y'all got on y'all, um, on y'all watch list. And are you in full support of Quinta and everything that she's doing? So now I got a couple of black news updates. These are stories that I've talked about at some point here on the podcast, but there have been updates and recent developments this past week that I want to circle back on so we can gather our thoughts and see what happens from here. So first, your girl, Wendy Williams, she did a phone interview recently and said she wanted to come back to TV. Now, black news update reaching back a few episodes ago. Wendy Williams show is coming to an end. This is the final season. Sherry Shepard is now getting her own show and taking over that time slot. We have not heard from or seen Wendy Williams in months. We don't know what's going on. There have been rumors that she wasn't doing well. She was, I think, suffering from Graves disease. She, people said she was in rehab. Some people said she was dealing with some financial issues. People didn't know. Some people said she had dementia. She was having having some mental health issues. Child all over the place. But this past week, she did a phone interview with ABC and uh, Good Morning America's TJ Holmes. Y'all know TJ, the black dude, one of the black dudes on, on GMA. And she was off camera. It was an audio only interview, which I mean, yes, she could have been on camera. And that immediately has us thinking Something going on while we can't see her face. However, she can easily spin it and say, yeah, it was audio. I'm the original queen of radio. So yeah, y'all used to hear my voice because I had a show on for 20 some years or however long it was on. Y'all know my voice, but I digress. Now, again, people were saying that her health was failing. She wasn't doing good. Bank was trying to take her money. So when talking to TJ, TJ asked her, like, yo, what's going on? Like, what what's really good, okay? And Wendy said something to the effect of, she said something like, give me three months. There are private things that I have to deal with, and then I'll be ready to come back and be free and ready to do my thing. The bank also um, requested conservatorship. Now, when we hear the word conservatorship, we think Britney Spears, Amanda Bynes. Britney Spears, y'all know, been under conservative conservatorship. I think she recently got released, but basically somebody else controls your money because they is apparently you're not mentally sound enough to do it yourself. But even with all that, Wendy said she good to go give her a couple months while she sorts some stuff out. She also talked about how she was in a battle with, with Wells Fargo, saying that um they said that they needed She needed to appoint or they were going to appoint somebody to have access over her money. Quote, quoting Wendy, she said, they said that I need to that they said that I need somebody to handle my account and I don't want that. So, you know, it's just a lot going on. He said, she said. Now it's actually he said, she said, because we're really hearing from Wendy in this this uh, current situation now. Will she actually come back to TV? Who knows? Some people have been trying to say that Wendy will actually do good in the podcast space because we've been seeing, i.e. Joe Rogan, cough, cough. These platforms kicking out millions of dollars for people to have a podcast up on there. So low key, it ain't nothing for Wendy to get her podcast deal, put out her a weekly show, 
and do it the way she used to do it when she started audio only usually there is that that element of on camera so you can post some youtube clips to um online into socials but wendy don't really need that if she wanna if she really want to get back all she got to do is audio personally though if you ask me though i think she should focus on her health being healthy is people people don't realize how important or how precious life is until you battling something and with all this back and forth going on wendy i would hope she focusing on getting better and dealing with whatever she's dealing with in addition to dealing with her money because it's one thing to not be feeling good but it's another thing for people to be trying to come for your paper that that ain't what that ain't what we gonna do because she already was dealing with that raggedy ex-husband now she got to deal with Wells Fargo. We're not de- we're not doing it. So I hope Wendy is okay. If she comes back, she comes back. If not, she had a great run. I also will chime in to say that the view send it had somebody from behind the scenes in the view have been saying, and I do air quotes to the inside source, there is apparently an open invitation for Wendy to come on that platform and guest host when she's ready. So she can get back out there if she won't. We'll see what happens. Um, and we'll be staying tuned, glued to the internets uh, to see if, what any updates are. Next update is in regards to Brittany Griner. Last we heard and talked about here on Black News was the fact that Brittany Griner got yammed up in Russia and is being held over there because she was traveling with a weed or marijuana vape pen. She was in custody over there we found out about it in march she was a a lot she was jammed up since february we don't even know since when in february people have been on the case meaning government officials people have been in communication with her but the update is now reports are saying that the russian court extended her imprisonment until may 19th and y'all that's just the pre-trial detention we don't know what's gonna happen after that May 19th is just the date for the pre up, the pre trial, though. Brittany Griner could be over there for up to 10 years. That's what I read. I read that the sentencing for this could be up to 10 years. I also did a quick search to find information on other people who may be other Americans that may be held in Russia. Child, it was like two in particular that's over there for years at a time for crimes that don't seem that like that egregious and i'm saying don't see seem because i just did a light search they could have been raggedy and it could have been over there locked up i don't know but what it looked like is that it ain't that big of a deal which it seems like it's happening with britney now we haven't been looped in i'm assuming you know that that is for a reason we at war russia is at war with everybody except china So Brittany Griner seems to be, um, is being used as a pawn, which is unfortunate because like we talked about on the podcast before, a couple episodes back, Brittany Griner plays in Russia to, um, in her off season from the WNBA, WNBA don't be playing their players. She can make about four to five times what she making over here overseas and just so happened that she got caught up. So we need to stay focused and locked in on this story. Because another point in another update, was, which is still not happening, people in news outlets aren't reporting on Brittany Griner being in Russia. If this was, what's the, what's the white girl that who, she, Tarasi, is that her name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. If this was her, oh, we would have known. Oh, everybody would have been, uh, would have known. Joe would have sent Kamala Harris over there to get her out personally. Okay, he, he would have sent her to get her out. But since it's Brittany Griner, hmm. Now, with that said, we're going to keep a watchful eye on this story. Hell, it looked like we're going to be keeping a watchful eye until at least May 19th. Because, again, that's just a pre-trial. Oh, a, a mess. Prayers up to Brittany. Hopefully, she's doing okay. A prayers to her family, who I'm sure is just sick over all of this and this whole ordeal. But, um, you know, let me know if y'all been following the story and if y'all heard any updates that I may not be abreast on. 
Now, this last update is in regards to Jesse Smollett. We talked about this, I believe it was just last week. Talked about how he was sentenced to around 150 days in for the hate crime hoax that he still proclaims didn't was not a hoax. He said he's innocent. But uh, they let your boy out while he is on bond appealing the conviction after serving six days. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse was in there, in there for six days. At first, they said he was in the psych ward. His brother was um, on social media talking about how that wasn't right. Then after we dropped the podcast, reports came out that Jesse was only in there drinking ice water. He wasn't even eating no solid food. This brother was just drinking water. I don't know why. I don't know what was up with that. But he was doing it. Then we see the video of him walking out. Y'all, Jesse was up walking about that jail like he was Tupac for real, y'all. Yeah. Y'all remember when Jesse said, told us he was the gay Tupac? Jesse really walked out of there like he was Tupac Shakur, the son of a Feeney. He walked out like he just dropped all eyes on me. Like, if you couldn't tell me all eyes on me didn't just drop. If you would have said, oh, me against the world coming out tomorrow, I'd have been like, oh, word, that's how he walked out. Like, it was him against the world. And look, in some ways it is. Because it's going to be a long road for Jesse. This whole ordeal may have people afraid to work with him um, in, in studios and other actors. It, it's just going to be a, a it's going to be interesting to watch how this all plays out and how this ends up. But to kind of clarify what happened, um, an appeal court ordered that he can go free during the appeal process, which wouldn't be completed before he served his full sentence. So now he has to serve the 30 month probation, even though he may and he may leave the state um, and travel without restrictions. So he could go to, you know, he can come back out to L.A. or New York so he can work and try to kickstart his career again. Because all of this went down to Chicago and Jesse's home base ain't Chicago. I believe it was out here, L.A. So child. We going to keep watching. It should be quiet for now with this whole situation because he's not due back in court for for a minute. But I I'm I'm anxious and interested to see what happens now. Thank goodness he got the love and support of his family because they he's going to lean on them for sure. He's going to need to. They might have to kick him a couple bucks. Journey, she working. Kick kick your boy a couple dollars because it might be Black Ball City for your boy. Um, so with that, those are um, the Black News updates. Let me know your thoughts on, on either. Hopefully, there um, won't be more updates on these three stories. Hopefully, there's some resolution to all of them. Um, But if something pop off that needs to be talked about, I'm going to come back with it. So let me know y'all thoughts. Hit me up at Cornelia. Let's get into honorable mention. Yeah, I don't have no honorable mention this week. I'm fresh out. I'm fresh out of honorable mention, y'all. I ain't got nothing for you. Okay, bye. That's it for this week's episode of Black News, y'all. Thanks again. Thank you. And thank you again so much for sticking with us, supporting the podcast, liking and subscribing on all apps where podcasts can be heard, rating five stars and leaving a comment. It helps more than you know. So I really, really appreciate it. And keep sharing black news with all of your friends and family. Be sure to hit me up on social media if you got ideas for topics. Or just hit me up in general to let me know you've been listening. Let me know your thoughts. I'm at Cornelia on all platforms across the board. That's at Cornelia, like Kenny and Ophelia. Also check my website. I got some shows coming up in a Los Angeles County. Hopefully get on the road soon. But for now, if you're in the LA area, hit me up. Check Cornelia.com for show dates and details. And as always, thanks again so much, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Keep supporting, keep growing, keep building, keep staying safe and keep staying healthy. As always, 
again i'll see you back here next time same time same place bye